Hello and welcome to another CAN diagnostic video. In today's riveting episode, we've got something slightly different. We've got an oscilloscope, oscilloscope SM111. As you can see, she's old, very big, very heavy, and very disgusting looking. Um, we got this for next to nothing, less than a tenner. Um, so I'm going to see if we can get it going. Just a little pro side project that I'll have going. Um, obviously this might take many, many months. I might turn on everything might work. But first things first, look at the beating state of this. It needs a good clean. I'm not touching that. Um, with all that, probably 30 years, more than that, 40, 40 years of uh, grime and spunk all over it. So, yeah. Let's clean it first. You see, it's not... A it's just filthy and obviously ugh. someone's cut the plug off it now in my household if you cut the plug off something it means it's buggered but nevertheless let's give this a good clean um i might even put a plug on it and just plug it straight in and see what happens really you should use a variac or something to slowly rotate uh, rotate increase the voltage um just in case it over uh, we've not been used for so long just overload any of the um anything capacitors etc that are in it that might explode with a sudden in rush of voltage but i ain't got one so i'm just gonna plug it in see what happens see what smokes so let's give it a good clean right so i've cleaned up the best i can um it took probably a whole pack of disinfectant i just can't get it all in one screen it's, it's that bleeding big um just wanted to clean it off enough so I didn't catch aids from it while I'm trying to work on it. Um I'll put a plug on it. So I don't I think it might be this literally press that. Oop. There goes the electric for the house. That's why you have a variac um adjuster or whatever they call it. You can hear the kids screaming in a minute. Pepper pigs come off the telly. Well, we know something's definitely hard shorted, so we'll um, take it apart and see what's what's going on with it. Somewhere to flick it that that quick is usually something with a transformer issue inside of it, but we we will see. Obviously, this hasn't been ran for God knows how long. But look what I have found. This belonged to the MOD, belonged to the Navy, Her Majesty's Royal Navy. Ah, interesting. So, yeah. I can hear the kids screaming downstairs, so don't go and turn the electric back on. Uh oh. Right, so I've stripped it down as you can see. Um, give it a just out on the inside. It wasn't too bad on the inside. Um, I've had a quick look around, I've had a quick just a quick check of all the main, obviously the main filter caps, um, things like that. I've had a quick look at the um, power supply board. Um, the only thing I've actually changed so far is a bit of wire. As you can see, she's very burnt out. Okay, um, so it doesn't make any difference. Still tripped Peppa Pig out. So on to the next sort of stage. Um, after just giving it a quick, a quick once over, um, is to check the primary windings of the transformer. So to do that, I'm actually going to. How's that? Does that work? Yeah, that works. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Right, so we're on resistance, and I'm going to go through the live. Where are we? The live and the neutral, okay? And we should see, I think it's typically around 20 ohms, and that's we're checking the coil of the um, primary side on the transformer. So live. Neutral. Um, right. So if something's wrong, or that transformer is completely open, which would be very unusual. Uh, right. Just give me a sec. I wasn't expecting that. Right. So I'm going to go neutral to earth. Yeah, should be open, and then 
live to earth and that should also be open right, let's do that again but this time I actually switch the scope there to the on position so neutral earth that's what an awful lot of resistance yeah open um that's how, that's what i'd expect and then live and neutral that should be a primary it's not again so we're still in the same situation there and then neutral uh, live and earth we should not have continuity between life and earth that is why the rca is tripping straight out because obviously we've got current going down the earth okay so hmm so we could have a we would have to shoot the line the windings would have to be shorted from the positive to the chassis um because obviously the chassis is earth but that is extremely unlikely okay right what if i take the I've already checked the fuse, obviously. Right. Okay, so you can see the meter. When I'm taking the, the fuse out, we're going, op we're going open, which it should be. Put the fuse back in, and we've got continuity. So we have definitely got a short between the positive live and the earth. So there's either going to be something wrong with the transformer, or there's going to be the power wire is going to be touching the chassis somewhere hmm all right let me have a think about this okay so i had a quick tinkle and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the earth no i'm going to take the one that's on the live and i'm going to put it on chassis okay See, earth and chassis. Now that should have low resistance. It should not be open circuit. Okay, so now I'm going to take it from the earth and put it onto live. Put it somewhere different in here. We're actually on the ground and pin. Right, so live and neutral, uh, live and earth. They're wrong, they're backwards basically. So, I definitely have the plug wired in correctly. Neutral, live, earth. So something is wrong inside. Something's been wired wrong or something. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap the I'm gonna swap these two. I'm gonna swap these two over. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn this off. Not that it's actually gonna make any difference. Just means when I come to plug it in, it won't um, trip it quite so quick.
right, so I switched them over. Um, let's get rid of this. Oh, I don't know whether I just, uh, I've actually plugged it in. Don't know whether just to. Uh... That's only going to flick Peppa Pig off, isn't it? So let's move this monstrosity over. Um, fingers crossed. And it's not tripped. And we've got a red. Bloody yeah, we've got a red light as well. Look at that. CRT going to come on. We're going to get anything. The dot. Anything at all. Oh, bloody brilliant. Now do I move this? That is absolutely brilliant. All right. So basically, somebody has wired the plug up wrong internally inside of the um, the scope. Oh, bloody idiots. I hope that wasn't any bit of the MOD, especially the Royal Navy, since they're the one looking after air bleeding nukes. Um, yeah, sweet. I'll put some covers back on it then. Oh, yes, look at that. <coughs> I'll put some covers on that um, and then see if we can get a trace, a proper trace, a proper waveform going on it. Bloody marvellous. And there we are. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the, um, on, on the camera, on the phone, it seems to be cutting out a bit, but there we are, what that is. I've just got it hooked up to a little uh, snap-on waveform generator. Uh, that's on. That's obviously a sine wave ABS. Um, and then if we get into channel two, it all seems to be working fine. I've had it running for. Just had it running here, sat on here about an hour, messing with the settings. Got some right funny patterns going at some of the different points. But yeah, it's all working fine. So that was all it was, really. Some tit to them. When they changed the, the plug on it, they wired it wrong internally, so the, the live and the earth were the wrong way around. So obviously we had a live going to chassis and the earth was going to where the live should be. So that was obviously why it was tripping the mains. So yeah, I don't know how interesting this video is going to be for people. Um, it didn't actually show much in the way of fault finding on the machine. Um, it's quite difficult to sort of get the multimeter in there and test. Um, different pieces, especially when I'm, you know, I'm taking probably took probably two hours or so just checking every capacitor resistor before I actually decided to get in the um, the pair input side. Obviously, I should be looking at that first, but you know, I'm not a electronics wizard, believe it or not. So she's working anyway. I'm gonna get some tight tight this up a bit, take this off, get it. Um, Get it redone, put some sealant in it, hide these cracks and repaint it. Yeah. Somebody might get something out of this. But if not, until next time. Ta-da.